Liberty Morning. It's Heart Breakfast with Jamie and Amanda. Our special guest uh, has got a big year next year. He's got a brand new album coming out. He's got a new tour as well. James Arthur's with us. Thanks for coming in. You say he's got a tour. It's a world tour and it's already sold out. Yes, indeed, yeah. It really surprised us all. I think we thought it might take a few weeks. And um, we did Wembley and now we're adding... um, we're adding the O2, which is, I mean, yeah, it's mind blowing. That is amazing. So you, it all starts in March in Bournemouth. What happened? Have you, do, are you, uh, what happened? Are you, are you in rehearsals yet, or does that come next year? How no, does it... uh, so we're going to do a couple of weeks in December, and then a couple of weeks just on the other side of Christmas, and um, that should prepare us for for the, the world tour. So we're going to start in Europe, and a few more exciting announcements to, to come as well. <laughs> and how exciting for you personally is that part of the job that you enjoy doing or uh, you know traveling the world or is that is that now a little bit of a you know do you prefer to be at home no i love it i do i I absolutely love it i think that's i think you ask any you know sort of artist i think it's the best part of the job it's where you get that the most sort of gratification i think for what you do sort of instant connection with with your fan base um you know because a lot of the time you you make music and you got to wait two years for people to hear it sometimes Mm. and and so that yeah that thing in the room that palpable energy between yeah. you and your fans is, is all the sweat and the, the sweat clapping and the, and the <laughs> do you take your little girl will you take her on the road for a bit um, I think I think that'll be easy in in the UK That's, oh. she's all I need now uh, we'll just stick her in the suitcase <laughs> and what about special guests because uh, Machine Gun Kelly brought you out of the Albert Hall I know that yeah. was incredible we had no idea you had such a good friendship with him yeah no we we um, we yeah we became mates a few years ago he, uh, he asked me to sing on his album Bloom and yeah, we, we connected then and um, yeah, been to a few, played at a show a few years back and yeah, he was, he was nice enough to ask me to play it at the Royal Albert Hall. So will he, will you be returning the favour or he returning the favour, I should say? On yeah, oh tour? yeah, I mean, if, if we if we sort of, yeah, if we cross paths or if he's around, yeah, for sure. I'll tell you what, we've got more to talk about, but shall we play, uh, the single is out now, Just Us, will you introduce it for us? Mm. Yes, this is my new single, Just Us, on Heart Breakfast. That's the new one from James Arthur and he's with us this morning. Thank you. Uh, Ahead of the new album, which is out at the end of January. Yeah, and we've got to talk about your beautiful performance on Pride of Britain last week. And it was quite a painful night for you (laughs) as well, because we we were just talking about this, and and nobody knows this, but but talk us through what happened to you during your performance as well. It started just before I hit the red carpet. I was all suited and booted, and I started to feel this pain in my left... um, crown jewel shall we say right and uh this pain just got sort of progressively worse uh, as i the further i got down this red carpet to the point where once i got back into the um the dressing room i was rolling around on the floor in in agony and i thought what have i, d- what have I done here this is this is crazy but i loaded up on on paracetamol and uh i, I can't go home at this point um, I've got to do this performance, but I, w- I was in 10 out of 10 pain at this point. Mm. Anyway, I get on stage and I sort of winced through this performance and then... You did a cracking performance, so yeah, you would never have known it. definitely it. added, it added <laughs> to, the, to the whole... The sort of, <laughs> you like, brought a lot of pain to it. Of, yeah, I brought... <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone's been complimenting me on that performance. I was like, yeah, that's... Yeah, that was, it was that real, was, man. Was yeah. real, man. Those tears were real <laughs> tears. <laughs> I got off stage and I was like, I've got to go to the hospital. Went to the emergency thing and like I've got this guy prodding around my my bits and you know. But you were all dressed up in a suit. <laughs> all dressed so up in like a suit. So it's like something from The Hangover. They did a scan. They found a kidney stone. So I've been on heavy painkillers all week. I get the operation to get it removed tomorrow. Bless you. It, it added a little bit to that performance, though. So um, yeah. And when it and when you have it operated on it, do you get to keep it or is it one of those operations where they sort of blast it? I think they're gonna blast it with oh. a laser. They're gonna go. They're going to go in and just gonna, get it, yeah. They're going to go in and yeah. get it, yeah. Good. yeah. Enjoy, enjoy, your, enjoy your breakfast, folks. Everyone's enjoying their wheat mix this morning. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, everyone. <laughs> Put you up for breakfast. Now, listen, before we say goodbye, because we're a little tight on time, we thought we would uh, have a quick round of the Google game. So mm. we've looked, found oh, yeah. some of the most common questions that uh, your fans are typing in about you. Right. So what we'll do is we'll start asking the question, then we see what, uh, how, what it, it, how, how it finishes. How it finishes, yeah. yeah. So if we were to write, yeah. does James Arthur... Regret any tattoos? Oh, all of them. Do you? Yeah, yeah I regret. No. I regret a lot. no, actually, the ones I've got recently are, are a bit better. But so when I was when I was like fifteen, I let a friend of mine who claimed that he could tattoo and he got a little kit at his house. I let him practice on me, and so I've got like some pretty 
rubbish tattoos on me. Right. To be fair, yeah. You've learned a lesson from that. Really. I I a 15 year old practicing on <laughs> not. <laughs> Not, not, the smart, not the smartest thing to do. Yeah, I like yeah. this one. I love that you've got Emily. You've got Emily, Emily yeah, that's, on there. That, that one is... Yeah, obviously. obviously. I thought about that one. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And We've got lastly, time for one more. Yeah, last one. Would James Arthur fight in a celebrity boxing match? Ooh. Yeah, I'd have a fight, yeah. Why not? Who would you fight? Um, who would I fight? Don't say KSI. <laughs> no, <he's, laughs> I know. Honestly... I reckon I'd have KFSI after the other night, watching that the other night. Bloody hell. They, what out. they needed was Carol Vorderman on there doing the adding up. Well, I thought you were about to say James <laughs> Arthur fighting Carol Vorderman. No, actually, I'd watch that. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd enjoy that. I'd enjoy a wrestle with Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best place to end it. There you go. James, it's been a pleasure. Uh, the new album, Bittersweet Love, uh, is out end of January. The single's out now. Uh, and also you can go and see him next year. We wish you the very best. Will you come back? Before yeah. the tour kicks yeah. off next year, tell us what about it. James, absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you.